In this video, I will let you know how to genuinely increase your subscriber using this Arduino board. Let me show you how to do that. So here's the Arduino board connected with the cable. I'll connect this cable directly to my computer. It started running its own script. It's open up Google Chrome automatically. It will open up my YouTube channel and it will directly hit the subscribe button automatically. And hey, congratulations, one new subscriber added to the list. So all this is happening because of Atmega 32U4 on which this board is based upon and that chip has built in USB communication that means it doesn't require any external IC or any external processor to upload the code on it via USB. And because it has that built in USB communication it can also be used as an HID which is called as human interface device. In simple manner it can be also used as a keyboard and a mouse. And you can do all the stuff using this Arduino Pro micro board that a keyboard and mouse can do for your computer. Just like it can open up the notepad on your computer and write a script in it. It can enter the passwords automatically. It can open up a YouTube channel and subscribe to it that we did right now. It can lock the computer. It can do all the stuff that a keyboard and mouse can do. You just need to write an Arduino code for it and all the script will be inside that Arduino code only. Upload the code onto the board and it is ready to act as a keyboard and a mouse. So in this video, basically I'll let you know how to get started with this Arduino Pro micro board and I'll also let you know how to interface uh, this micro board with the help of HC05, the Bluetooth module to do all that wireless communication stuff. And I just bought this particular model to make a dedicated project using it and that's a really interesting project. So in case if you're interested in knowing what that project is, which I'll soon be uploading onto my YouTube channel, you have to subscribe to the channel so that you can get the notification as soon as that project is uploaded. That being said, let's just start learning about how to use the Arduino Pro micro board. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now if I tell you one very interesting feature of the software then here in LTM designer you can design rigid flex PCB. Now what is that? So till now you must have designed the PCB which has like rigid like solid PCBs that we are not able to bend. But here in LTM you can design a PCB in which some of the parts are rigid solid and some of the parts are flexible which can bend and the PCB can you know uh, we can bend it in a two-fold manner just like the modern day smartphone right. So this is a really very interesting useful and unique feature of the software. Well you can also try out this and many other unique and interesting features of this designer software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on the link you'll get access to the free trial version of this software. So go ahead, try out the free trial version of LTM designer software. So let's get started with the programming this Arduino Pro micro board. For that just open up the Arduino uh, IDE on your computer, go to files, into examples, into USB, okay. So this examples keyboard and mouse are supported for this Arduino Pro micro board and also for the Arduino Leonardo board because that uses that same chip, okay. So for those two boards this boards will be supported. Let us start with the keyboard thing and we'll go to keyboard logout. So we do have a couple of example codes so you can directly try this example codes to see how this particular thing work, okay. So this example code is basically a script that will log out the computer. Maybe it's a Windows, Mac OS or Ubuntu computer. As soon as this uh, board is plugged in, it will log out that user, okay. So uh, let's just try understanding this code. So first of all, they have defined this three OS with zero, one and two respectively, okay. So what we have to do is uh, before uploading this uh, board, here we have to define which OS we are uh, using, okay. Uh, in my case, I have a Mac OS, so I will define OS X only. But if you have Windows, you just need to copy that and paste that thing here, okay. Doesn't matter, I'll uh, control Z to undo that, okay. Great. Uh, rest of the code will remain the same. So what they are doing inside the code is, in case uh, the OS is Mac OS, the, it will run this script. In case the OS is Windows, it will run this script. And in case Ubuntu, this script. And what they are doing, let us uh, understand for Windows because it will be simple for everyone. So in Windows, what it will do, it will press Control, Alt, Delete. It will release all. After that, it will press Alt, uh, L and the, uh, the thing that user will get log out, okay? And how to do that? Well, you just need to type the command called as keyboard.press and inside that you have to write the key which you want to press, okay? For example, control, alt and delete. Now, one question comes in the mind that how's the format of each and every key? Like what's the format they have defined for each and every key? Because we know only like for control, it is key left control, but what about uh, function key? What about tab key? What's the syntax of those keywords? So now to see the syntax of each and every key, you just need to go to uh, your browser and search for keyboard.h header file, okay? And 
on github uh, this header file is available and in that header file all the keys are defined so if you want to press alter button you can type the command this if you want to press a tab button the keyword is key underscore tab so they have defined all the keys here so you can take the reference of this particular header file okay after that moving back to the code okay so in my case i'm using the os so what it will do it will just press the command key shift key and q key which is a shortcut to log out okay so what i'll do i'll select the right board which will be in this case arduino micro and i'll select the right port uh, which is this micro only and directly hit the upload button so it will straight away upload the code onto my board as soon as i upload the code i will remove this usb cable so that doesn't run okay it's done uploading i'll remove that usb cable i'll uh, you know close all the files and now let's just plug this thing inside it and let's see what's the result it's plugged in right now and uh, nothing is working Bonk. okay so why it didn't work it's just because in the code it is written as if the pin 2 is pulled high which is automatically pulled high inside the code it will do nothing okay so what we need to do is we need to make the digital pin 2 ground to run this script so i'll quickly take a, a female to female wire which is here this is the female to female wire okay i'll directly connect the pin 2 to the ground okay here is the 2 and i'll directly connect it to the ground for that uh, before that i'll close everything and let us see this in action so i'll connect it with the ground i connect it and okay it's asking me to save the screen recording i'll save it and uh, yeah uh, that system is logged out so i'm no more logged into my uh what you can say account as you can see the screen is black and now it is asking me to log in again so yeah it perfectly worked for me we just need to connect this with the ground so yeah this is how you can use this pro micro board as a keyboard and similarly there's a code for mouse as well now what i'll do i'll let you know the script which i ran for you know subscribing to a particular youtube channel let me show you the script Okay, so here is the code which will automatically subscribe to a particular YouTube channel in which this Arduino Pro micro board is connected with. Okay, let us start understanding the code. First of all, here we have defined two OS, Mac OS is 0 and Windows OS is 1. And here we have to define on which OS we want to test this. As of now, I have written OS X, that means it will run for the Mac OS. Okay, after that, I have put the same logic here as well in which uh, pin number 2 is put to input pull up. So as soon as we connect it with the ground only then the script will start running otherwise the script won't be running okay after that let's just see what's inside the script so inside the script first of all we are checking which platform uh, we want to run the code for is it for mac os or is it for windows for mac we just need to press the command plus space which will open the spotlight uh, in mac os and for windows it will press command plus r which will start the run uh, it's a run command okay after doing any of the command it will just type chrome in that particular thing and press enter which will open up the google chrome on that particular system now here we have written a type key function rather than the keyboard dot print now why it's just because type key is a uh, another function defined this code only which will press that key and after 50 milliseconds it will release that key that means uh, whichever key we want to press and release uh, is written inside the type key command and whichever key we want to press and hold we will type the keyboard dot print command okay sorry keyboard dot press command Moving ahead, after typing the Chrome, we are uh, pressing enter twice and after that we are entering the channel link, whichever channel link you want. In case if you want to add your channel, what you have to do is you just need to change the name here. So here it is written as Techie SMS, you have to write your channel URL. Okay, so that you have to do. After doing that, we just need to press the tab button twice and press the enter button which will automatically subscribe that computer to your channel so that's the simple code that we have written let us test this code out so i'll select the right board and port which is automatically which is already selected i'll straight away hit the upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded i will just connect this gpio 2 to the ground and okay it started running so it opened up the google chrome it entered my youtube channel link and Hey, this is such insane. And as you can see, it got it subscribed to my YouTube channel, so it's perfectly working on Mac OS. So that was all about using Arduino Pro Micro Board without any wireless communication. And now I will let you know how to use uh, this board with the help of HC05 Bluetooth module. Now it's not that straightforward as compared to other uh, Arduino related boards. It's just because. 
let's see his reaction what happens